Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you everything you need to know about how to prep and paint your fender on your vehicle. So let's get started. So this is a fender that I picked up at a local store. It's an aftermarket fender. And I recommend if you're replacing a fender on your vehicle that you go ahead and get one that's pre-primed or Kappa certified. This is gonna give you the best quality and it's gonna save you from priming the entire fender before you paint it. Some shops like to prime them before they paint them and that's okay. It's not entirely necessary on this particular vehicle. I'm not going to. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna sand this entire fender and get that primer ready for paint. In order to do that, I'm gonna use my uh, dual action sander, my new tool, it's a uh, dust-free sander. And we're gonna use some 320 grit sandpaper on it and sand the entire fender, the backside included, because the first thing we're gonna do here is to paint the backside of this fender. So if they're, you're doing this at home, you need a couple things. You need a piece of sandpaper. Um, I would recommend if you're doing this at home by hand that you use a 320 grit sandpaper or a 600 grit. If it's a high metallic paint that you're going to be painting it, I would use a 600 grit. Um, I'm going to use a 600 grit here. I'm going to just put it on my uh, dual action sander here. Um, this is all Velcro uh, sandpaper and a dust-free system. And I'm going to just start to DA this. I'm going to de the outside first just to get that prepped out so when I paint the back side, any overspray that, that goes over and uh, uh, lands on the fender is going to stick and adhere properly. And the other thing we're going to do on this fender is we're going to coat the entire fender with an adhesion promoter. You've heard me talk about it before, Bulldog. I'm a big believer in a Bulldog adhesion promoter. Uh, it's just going to give you that added uh, security as far as the paint sticking and adhering properly. So when you're DA in this fender, if you're using a, a dual action sander to sand it, um, you want to try and keep that uh, DA as flat as possible. You don't want to sand on the hard edges. You want to roll it around those edges. Um, uh, I do recommend an interface pad. That's a Velcro soft pad that goes on the DA and that's going to help cushion it a little bit. So it's going to keep you from really grinding down hard on those edges. Um, some, some of the areas you're going to have to hand sand and you're going to have to use a 1500 grit Scotch-Brite uh, to do that. So you want to make sure you have one of those available. And we're also going to use it on the back side of this fender to get those hard to reach areas um, sanded properly. So now I have the front side all done. I'm going to switch over to the back side of this fender and I'm going to get all the large areas that I can with the DA. Again, there's a lot of curvature and a lot of tight areas in there that you're not going to be able to get with the DA. So what I like to do is just go over the entire area as much as I can get with the DA because it's, it's faster and easier. And then I'm going to switch over to the scuff pad to get those hard to reach areas. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my 1500 grit scuff pad to scuff the inside of this fender along the hood edge and the rest of the structure of that inner fender. Um, a lot of it's covered, but we wanna get a good coat of paint on it. So we're gonna use this scuff pad to get it sanded properly. Okay, as you can see, we have the entire fender sanded now. It's all scuffed really well. Now I'm gonna blow it off and I'm gonna blow off the inside of that fender anywhere where dust may have settled and will get blown out of there and into our paint job. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna clean it off real well and then we're gonna tack rag it. Okay, now I'm gonna break out my tack rag. This is the brand I use and we're gonna tack rag this as entire fender. Remove any dust or lint that's accumulated on this fender so it doesn't end up in our paint. Okay, so now we have this all tacked off and cleaned. I'm going to add my Bulldog Adhesion Promoter to my gun, and we're just going to spray this entire backside and front side of this fender and get a first medium wet coat on here and then let it flash for about 5 to 10 minutes and add another coat for proper adhesion. 
One thing to add, if you're using this adhesion promoter, make sure you wear a respirator. This is some very strong, nasty stuff, and you need to protect your lungs at all times. Okay, now we have two coats of adhesion promoter on it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to tack rag it off just before I spray the first coat of color on it. And now we're going to put the first coat of color on. You want to do nice even strokes overlapping 60% uh, from the previous pass. And then you want to do a medium coat on here and let it flash off for 10 minutes and we'll add another coat. Okay, so let's take a look at the first coat. As you can see, it's starting to flash off. It's got that dull appearance to it. This is just the first coat. You're gonna probably still see a few scratches and that type of thing. You might even see the primer underneath the first coat. It's gonna take two to three coats, but you wanna make sure all the primer is covered so it's, you cannot see it. And you wanna make sure those light scratches are covered as well. Okay, so let's add the second coat of paint. And just again nice even strokes 60 percent overlap and if you want some more details on how to paint i have many videos on my channel on how to paint how to paint your own bumper how to repair scratches in your bumper just look in the links below and i might even put a card up at the top if you're interested in those videos while i'm putting the second coat of paint on i just want to take the time to thank all my subscribers and thank everybody for watching my videos and helping this channel grow Okay, it's time for clear coat and the things you want to remember on your clear coat. We're going to do two to three coats, at least two, okay? The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're consistent in your passes. You want to stay about four inches, roughly about four inches away from the panel. You want to have your volume control to between one and two turns open, okay? You want to have your fan pattern wide open. You put your first coat on medium. Do not put it on wet. I would rather you put it on the lighter side than the heavier side. You want to overlap your passes 60% and that should give you a nice finish. Do not start, pull the trigger on the panel. You want to pull the trigger off the panel and do your pass. This should give you a nice finish. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Let me know how your project turned out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.